back with another banger for you guys today. And as you can see by the title, we have a Mr. Beast video. This one dropped a couple days ago and it is called Face Your Biggest Fear to Win 800,000. Before we get into this, I'm not sure if I would be able to face my biggest fear. Two of them. And I'm gonna let you guys inside on this, okay? But don't ever use it against me, all right? Roaches, centipedes. I, I, I bro, I, I, there's certain bugs I cannot do. Even if I see them, I'm <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna freak the fuck out, bro. Okay, like I, I won't go in the same room as one. Nothing like that. I'm terrified of those. I'm not scared of spiders, which is weird. I've had a tarantula crawl on my face and shit, but centipedes and roaches, man, I can't do it. Before we get into this, if you guys could please subscribe to my gaming channel, I will be dropping a video over there later tonight, and I have appreciated all the support that I've been receiving over there as well. And also, before we get into this, can you guys please make sure you are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on? That way you do not miss any of the uploads, man, because we have been dropping a lot of content, and there's a lot more to come. But without further ado, let's dive into facing your biggest fear for 800K. For 800k, would I do it? Scariest moment of his life. I'm just gonna let you know, I'm not afraid of anything. We'll see. You cannot scare me. Seal them up. You have to survive 10 minutes with a thousand spiders to move on. Oh. Release the spiders. Oh. Okay. A thousand spiders? I think I can do it. I can do it. The reason we're doing this is because Max said no matter how hard I try, I can't scare him. Would you say you're scared now? Uh, getting there a little bit. A little bit? Mm -hmm. And this is only one of many fears Mac will face in this video. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that. I can't swim. I would never do it. Being buried alive? This was way more gnarly than I thought it would be. Three, two, one. Lift it up, lift it up. Oh yeah. Congratulations on passing the first challenge. Let's go. I could do that. The, the, the spiders, I could do that for sure. I could definitely do that. I know you're blindfolded, but trust me, just walk up this ramp. Raise us up. Uh, are you taking a knee? What is what? Uh, just stand up, stand up. Go on, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, Heights, I don't know. I don't know. I've been on roller coasters and shit, but I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Blindfold. Welcome to challenge number two. Oh. The next fear no. is the fear of heights. You're gonna stand on the end of that plank. I might be six five, but hell no. To nothing. No, dude. Press that button and then free fall 200 feet. And without knowing how, trust I'll catch you. No, no. You're no. shaking. Yeah, of course I'm shaking. I'm gonna fall off of this into, without a harness on. Yeah. I can't even see the ground. Oh, be very careful. Back, I'm just gonna tell right, you. that makes it even worse. He got a good point. He can't even see the motherfucking ground, bro. You are very, very high up. Oh my god, man. All you have to do is unclip it and press that button. Oh my god. I want you to look at me in the eyes right now yeah. and tell me that I'm gonna fall and something's gonna catch me. Something will break your fall, I promise. Oh my god. You're literally attached to nothing. Oh my god. The clip is gone. Oh my god, dude. You don't have to do it. If you want to, you can tap out and just admit that you are wrong and you do get scared. I trust Mr. Beast. I would do it. I would, would I do it? Oh, no. It's different when you got the red button right there. Ah, dude. <laughs> just get it over with. <laughs> oh my God. Five, four, three, two, one. Godspeed. Godspeed. Zero. <laughs> I can't believe you did it. He's a psycho. <laughs> and if you're wondering who my psychotic friend Matt is, <laughs> that, that was that was definitely harder than the first challenge. I ain't gonna lie. From a previous challenge video, and sadly, they said ten thousand roaches. Hundred thousand dollars. But now, nah, nah, I'm out. <laughs> to attempt to win that money back. Here we are. I definitely now Got this one show. for sure. For $5 car? sure, <laughs> I could not do. Hundred percent. This car is pointed towards the lake. I'm guessing you're gonna <coughs> want me to drive the car into the lake. No, 
That would be dangerous. As you can see, there's no gas pedal. Obviously, you can't drive it in the lake. Yeah, I'm so stupid. Why would I think that I could drive it into the lake? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. stupid, yeah. Which is why we're gonna drop him in the lake. Bring in the crane! Oh, oh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Oh, it is getting real. With no, okay. no, no swimming oh equipment, no life jacket, it's crazy, bro. All right, man. Listen up and listen good. Once we drop you at this lake, the car will quickly begin to sink. And in the back seat is the 800 grand you've been competing for, divvied up into eight duffel bags. However many bags you can save from this sinking car determines how much money you'll continue competing for in this video. And whatever you leave behind, what? it's gone forever. Oh my gosh, dude. I will never tell you that I'm scared. But I'm about as close as you can be right now. That's the feeling. <laughs> I can tell. Before we drop your car, I'm going to give you one offer. If you quit right now and admit I scared you, I'll give you $100,000 and we call it even. Yeah, all right. He's not going to take it. There's not a gosh. Yeah, I knew that was going. <laughs> hey, Nolan, take that. I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> I lost all last time. It's not happening again. God. Drop him! I couldn't do this, bro. This is dangerous. This is too dangerous. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, Mac, you've got about 20 seconds to break out of that car before it sinks under the water. Ah. Mac, the car's going under. Hurry up! Come on! Oh. 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 Mm -mm. Oh, I don't like this. There's no way. No way I can do this. That car is gone. That is I can't so, swim so anyway. Fast. Oh, my God. But, like, even when I shower, guys, like, I promise you, I, I've, I've always had this fear. Like, sometimes I wonder, was I in another life and this is how I went? Like, I always have had, like, when I'm in the shower and showering and stuff in the water, hits my face i'm always like <gasps> you know type shit like i oh anytime water hits my face i panic for some reason i don't know why but i definitely could not do this bro uh, no go grab that back from him all right somebody grab this the scariest part about this challenge is every second the car sinks deeper into the water making it harder to get to and harder to see so if Mac wants to keep all of his prize money, he really needs to be moving as fast as possible. This dude is, he's see, a daredevil, bro. Also, like, just holding your breath that long, man. I feel this for him. Mac continued saving bag. Oh my God. After bag, after bag. Mac, you are crazy. But on top of the fact that the car is sinking deeper and deeper, what Mac hasn't realized yet is that the last two bags of money are actually seat belted into the back seat of the car. What if bro just what if he what if he didn't want to stop? What if he was like what if what if he was like I gotta get this? He was like, in the water type shit, you know what I mean? Like, Dude, Mac could be in an action movie, honestly. Well, he was like a borderline Olympic swimmer earlier in his life, which is why I did this fear. Wait, but it's like 40 feet down and the water is freezing cold. How can he hold his breath that long? Oh, we got another bag. Bro, you got 700 grand on the boat. Just stop now. No. Just stop now. Just leave it on the bottom of the lake. We can do the next. No. He's different. He this point, Bro the is was different. At the bottom of this 45 foot deep lake, making it almost impossible Bro, for Mac to retreat. 45 fucking feet, bro. You can't even see in the fucking water, my nigga. I can't even. I can barely swim in five feet, and I'm six five. The last one hundred thousand dollars. Catch me on the court, though. Oh, bang on your ass. Catch me on the court. Let me chill. Let me chill. I can't see the car, Jimmy. It's gone. Yes. Oh, oh, the boat's tilting. Wow, you are very athletic. Do you like this video better or the other video better? 
Dude, this video is like 10 times as intense. I know. And even though this looks very crazy, <laughs> there's actually seven safety divers. Okay, I command, bro. Make sure Mac didn't die. Your prize is now 700 grand. But from here on out, it's all or nothing. Mac has to face the three remaining. Like, like he literally just got 700K, 700 bro. This one might be the hardest one. Ah, uh, okay. go on. <laughs> is it grosser than spiders? Just come on in. Inside this room. That's what I would ask, too. <laughs> but I wouldn't have made it that far. <laughs> is it grosser than spiders? Before you put your hand in the box, we're gonna need you to sign this. It just basically says that you can't sue me if anything in there hurts you. Huh. Just sign right there. All right, we got it signed. What is it, like an animal or something? Uh, there are things in this box. Uh, just step up here. You put your hand in one of these holes. Okay. And there's a thing in here you need to pull out. Oh, okay. dude, that is freaky as Oh, oh shit! Okay, it clearly has not touched it. Oh, no matter what, shit. once you grab onto it, you have to pull it out. What you grab <laughs> is our brand new Feastable Bar. I'm weak as hell. Bro, speaking of his Feastable Bars, it's crazy, bro, because the Charlotte Hornets NBA team they have the Feastable on uh, their jerseys now. Mr. Beast is sponsored by the NBA, bro. That shit is crazy. Tasting formula. Let's try it together. I am not going to go soft on you. I'm going to tell you honestly. That's how you know he has a crazy bag, bro. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. The new formula is milkier, creamier. We have our all new crunch flavor, the milk chocolate flavor, almond flavor, my personal favorite, and peanut butter. These new and improved- Peanut butter, I would definitely go for that. Now. I love peanut butter. a couple of days to get them on the shelves in your local Walmart, Target, 7-Eleven, and I cannot wait to see what you think of them. All right, Mac, you ready for the next fear? Jimmy, I've been in this exact same room, and I've had a bunch of money on the line before. Yep. I'll tell you what, if you give me 500 grand right now, I'll walk. Do you guys hear this, man? Jimmy. Who asked for 500 grand? 400 grand. No. Hear me out. If you said 200, maybe 250, I would have considered it. All right, how about 350? No. All right, let's go. Next challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I kind of lied. That one wasn't actually that hard. But this next one is actually based on one of the scariest things I've ever done. Oh, there's no way. I love how quickly he pieced it together. No, 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 no. There is actually no way. Come on. There is actually no way, Jimmy. Is it that obvious what it is? What gave it away? The tombstone with your name? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. For the next challenge, we are going to bury you alive for 24 hours. Ah, Whoa. no Whoa, way, wait. dude. 24 you whenever you want, but you don't know what time it is. And if you leave before the 24 hour mark, you lose everything. It's a good fear. Bro, yes. what? 24 hours, my nigga? How the fuck is you gonna know that? For once, I'm on the other side. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. It might get a little cold. Oh. No, and don't mess it up. I'm trying not to. This is from my nightmares, man. It feels wrong being on the other side of this, but also fun. Oh, what the? Oh, this is so freaky. As long as I had ventilation and maybe like a... It feels wrong saying this, but can you bury me faster? As you wish, Mac. Bring in the extra hands. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Ah! Let's officially start the timer. Looks like 24 hours just started. And I'm already freaked, so this ain't gonna be good. Mac, see that rope above your head? Can you pull it for me real quick? Is this a trick? No. Next time you pull that bell, we will dig you up. And if it does not say above 24 hours, you lose everything. I will burn your house down. <laughs> and also the $700,000. Yeah, I was like, everything? Everything. Sweet dreams, Mackin. Uh, don't throw the walkie talk. Oh, was it that predictable? I already know they threw it, and I'm not even up there. It's so much more fun to be on this side of it. And to make sure Mac doesn't die in his own grave, He's gonna be wearing this wristband that directly tells us his heart rate and vitals. And no, it does not give him any way of knowing what time it is. Basically, I need to figure out how to keep track of the time. So here's my strategy. I could try to stay awake for two hours, sleep for 10 hours, and then I would be halfway done with the challenge and I could just do that twice and then I'd be good. With Max plan now in place, his first step was to pass the time for the next two hours. Well, it's no feastful bar, but I guess it makes hunger stop. But yeah, this, one, this would've made it easier for sure. Board. You're yeah, gonna be honest, not much going on inside this room. That's the whole point. And Mac being <laughs> that's the whole a point. Tell a sign that he may not be too good at this. Because already within 45 minutes, Mac's idea of time was horrendously off. 
I think it's been about two hours. I'm gonna try to get about 10 hours of sleep, which should put me at the halfway mark. Even though the pro to sleeping is it will help Mac pass the time faster. First night sleeping in the coffin. The con is it's very difficult for him to keep track of how long he's been buried, especially when he's not even able to stay asleep for more than 30 minutes at a time. I have no idea what time it is right now. I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> Hogan, for the love of God, it's been over 12 hours. I think that's where we're at. And because when I did this challenge, I was constantly woken up by my friends. Jimmy Jam! I thought I'd give Mac the same joyful experience. Mr. Wake up, Mac, are you okay? Whoa. Dude, you Mr. Beast did that for seven days? It kind of feels like I did just get hit by a truck. If I was to legitimately guess how many hours in I am, I think it's like... The longer Mac stayed in the coffin, the less he seemed to know what time it was. Might be hour 16. And because we like to build a lot of suspense on this channel, for the remainder of this sphere, you're not gonna know how long he's been in there either. And even though Mac wanted to ensure that he was gonna be there long enough, it was clear the claustrophobia was getting to him. Being in this coffin is scary. Like, that. And the longer I'm in here, the worse I feel. It's a crazy feeling. But eventually, when we saw Mac begin to grab that rope, we knew he was thinking about ringing that bell. That's the face of somebody that's about to ring this bell soon. There's no way it's been under 24 hours. God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've been in one of these videos before, and I've lost everything. And the only reason I even am back here at all and got a second chance is actually because of you guys. Me screwing up that second chance all comes down to if I know for a fact it's been 24 hours. I really hope I'm not making a mistake right now. Max, buddy, pal, how you doing? Jimmy, I'm pretty nervous. I don't want to accidentally reveal the time, so no comment. Jimmy, I don't know how you did this for seven days, dude. I do not feel well in here. Yeah, have you got to the point where you start to lose blood flow in your legs? And you feel like your back is gonna fall out of your body? <laughs> Jimmy, I'm thinking about pulling this thing. No comment. Jimmy, I'll give you 50 bucks back if you tell me what time it is. No comment. <laughs> all right, well, I got a comment for you. Just get a shovel ready, all right? Three. Oh my gosh, he's about to do it. Two. This is it. One. Oh! Stop the timer! And now that Mac has made his decision, he lost. there was just one last thing I had to do. Do you mind if I tell them about Shopify where we unbury you? You have got to be kidding. Shopify is a platform that helps entrepreneurs get started down the path they want. Sometimes starting a business can be scary, like getting covered in spiders. I don't think he did it, bro. I can tell you, you do not want to be buried alive. But Shopify is here to help. If I hadn't started my own business, I wouldn't have been able to go to all the crazy places like Antarctica and make videos like these for you guys. And just like billions of <laughs> other people have done with Shopify, you can get started today on your business right now. Mac, do you want to know how long you're in there? I have a feeling you're not gonna tell me till you dig me up. You are correct. And one of the perks of owning my own business is I can do fun things like send one of my friends to the Super Bowl. Mac, Carl and Nolan each have their very own football for sale. And whoever's football sells the most, I'm gonna give you tickets to the Super Bowl. And I'm gonna bury the other one alive. All that matters is that you download the shop app and vote for one of them by buying either Nolan's or Carl's football. And now that I can afford this video, let's see if Mac loses $700,000. Hi. Hi. Hey, Jimmy. There you go. Welcome to the outside world. Now that you are out of the coffin, let's see if you are in there for 24 hours. If the number I reveal is lower than 24 hours, then you lose 700 grand. Oh, he lost, bro. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Me. Okay, okay! This means that you are now just one challenge away from winning all this money. Let's go. You should probably go shower first. Yeah, I smell, uh, not great. So far in this video, Mac has shown me it is very- This dude is a warrior, bro, I ain't gonna lie. The challenge of this video may just be Mac's worst fear ever. And that's because the final challenge of this video is a one-to-one -one recreation of the challenge he failed on last time. The last challenge. Hold this in front of your face, don't look. Hey, I'm not looking. Don't look. I'm not looking. Right, keep your eyes closed. Don't open them. Don't open your eyes. Keep walking. Don't open them. Don't open them. All right. Open them. No! No, 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 I'm not doing that again, dude. Come over here. Oh, no! Jimmy! I do not want to do this 
again. Stand here to where the again. cameras can oh, see you. Okay. Oh. The last challenge is the fear of failure. Oh. We recreated the set where he lost $800,000 in this video. And like last time, the rules are extremely simple. There are four stages. Each has its own cookie with a shape on it. You have to cut out all the shapes without breaking a cookie. And if you do break a cookie, you lose $700,000. And for you specifically, it will have been the second time it's happened. This is from my nightmares, man. I do not want to be here again. Well, good, because I have an offer for you. You can quit right now and walk away with this 300 grand, or risk it for the biscuit, and if you finish this final challenge, win $700,000. 300K, bro. actually like a very, very big decision. Yeah, because that's not quite enough, is it? It's less than half. But if you lose again, that is $1.5 million lost on this set. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> oh, he's hitting it. Mac, I know this is hard, but you're gonna have to make a decision here. Do you want to go home with three hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. Or do you want to risk it all for this final chance? I'm taking that three hundred k. I ain't gonna lie. All right, fine. I'm doing it. All right. To be honest, I'm glad. I want you to win this whole thing. If you look at this iPad right here, this is exactly how long it took Mac to get through all four stages last time he did the challenge. Thirty-four minutes and fifty-four seconds. So that's exactly how long I'm gonna give you again. Starting now. Don't break the cookie while opening it. There you go. Even though he's going quick right now, it might not be in his best interest, because if he accidentally snaps the cookie, he loses. 34 minutes. Oh, wow, you did it that quick? Scan, 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 scan! It's green. This is a much different deal than last time. So I'm gonna take my sweet time cutting the circle out. He is flying through this. Why is it so much harder to open? Probably because you're like freaking out. You want me to try? <laughs> open it. Okay, hold my iPad. Okay, it's very hard to open. What are you guys doing? I don't want to be responsible for that. <laughs> be careful. Theoretically, max strategy makes sense. Getting through the easier shapes fast to save all the time for Umbrella, which he lost 800 grand on. You literally still have 32 minutes left. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need all 32 of those for Umbrella. That is borderline impossible. Move out. Oh, I'm moving. Open it. Allow me. Oh. <laughs> clap, 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 let's go. Mac, stop breaking my set. Bro, you guys gotta make these easier to open. <sighs> There's just no need to rush. You're literally using no time. I mean, you might need to go slower on this one because it's a lot trickier. This one's pretty hard. Not even close to Umbrella. I'm trying to get to the race before I start racing. God, this is so hard. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't need that anymore. I, uh, um. And maybe it didn't break all the way through? Ooh, okay. Um, he still had 29 minutes left. He did the first two in four minutes. <laughs> I don't know why it did this. Why it did this. Oh my God. I did that twice. Here, give me your hand. No, Jimmy, please, I don't want to leave yet. No, Jimmy. No, dude, I don't even like. I don't even know how to feel right now. Like, right here, come on. <laughs> I have like so much time. Yeah, I'm still just not sure why you were going so fast. The umbrella. I just, I just know that umbrella takes forever. Yeah. Okay. Mac told me in this video that there was nothing I could do to scare him. And after putting him through spiders, a sinking car, and more, I really did start to believe him. Godspeed. The only thing that ended up getting to Mac was the fear of his own failure. Godspeed. Damn. That was fire, bro. That was fire yeah. right there how it ended. Of his own failure. Godspeed.
Oh, man. I love Mr. Beast's videos, bro. Mr. Beast's content is so fire, man. But damn. Bro made it through all of the hardest shit. Now, the cookies, it's not a fear. But, like, it's like cutting that shit out, man. I mean, I'm kind of crafty. I got big hands, though. I cut it. I'm pretty sure it's way harder than what it looks like, for sure. Um, not saying I could do it, but I feel like I would have a good chance at doing it because. But but I wouldn't have made it that far anyway, because the 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 water shit in the car. He he he's the goat for that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but all that for nothing, man. Before I get up out of here, if you guys would like to subscribe to my gaming channel, I will be re uh, <laughs> I will be dropping a gaming video over there later tonight as well. So I greatly appreciate all the continued support. And I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Thank you guys for everything. Love y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one, baby. We are out. Peace.